Keanu Reeves stands out in Hollywood for his simplicity and humility. Unlike many celebrities, he doesn't flaunt his wealth or seek attention. Instead, he's often seen taking the subway, flying commercial, and interacting with fans like an ordinary person. This down-to-earth attitude has earned him admiration and respect from people around the world. Despite his fame and fortune, Keanu remains true to himself, refusing to let Hollywood change who he is. In this video, we'll explore Keanu's journey and discover why he's known as the kindest man in Hollywood. Keanu Reeves had a very hard beginning. His dad had difficulties with drugs and was sent to prison by the time Keanu was very little. His mom was struggling with trying to provide for him and his sister, and she got married and divorced a lot, which made things unstable for Keanu. He didn't have a father who was present in his life through his childhood, which is known to be a difficult experience for young people. Keanu was constantly in motion and always got into trouble with his teachers. He was always in trouble because he was too talkative and he wasn't really the best student. He never felt like he was part of the same group as the other children, but in Hollywood, he was again faced with the same dilemma of either doing things he didn't want to do or being unsuccessful. Keanu Reeves began to make his image as a good guy in Hollywood when he played roles that made him a teenage crush. Teenagers usually overestimate the teen heartthrobs and see them as flawless. He started with programs like NBC's Babes in Toyland and films like Act of Vengeance and Brotherhood of Justice. Those were the first films in which he acted and they received little publicity. However, it was the casting director Carrie Frazier who saw him and the whole course of his life changed. She admired his appearance and thought he could be a man ready to take on the world anytime soon. The newcomer was able to secure roles in dramas like The Night Before, The Prince of Pennsylvania, and Permanent Record due to his naturalness. However, his real success story was in 1989 when he starred in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. The movie got mixed reviews, but it was still a hit, grossing $40 million against a $10 million budget. Keanu Reeves acting as Ted Logan, which was truly outstanding, helped him to move forward in his Hollywood career. Before Stephen Herrick chose him for the leading roles, the director had auditioned hundreds of actors, but Keanu was one of the best of them. She saw something genuine in him and knew he was exactly the kind of friend she needed for Ted. This authenticity became even more apparent during The Devil's Advocate, where Keanu made a surprising choice. He had given some of his salary. The Devil's Advocate starring Keanu was a movie with Al Pacino among others. Keanu was the first one to be cast, and Pacino initially refused the role three times. However, Keanu wanted to support the movie and agreed to take a pay cut for the role to be played by Pacino. The movie was successful, making over $61 million, and his portrayal was highly acclaimed. Keanu did not stop at that point. He cut his salary by 90% to play in the movie The Replacements three years later. On the one hand, he was considered a generous actor for his efforts in supporting numerous charities, while on the other hand, some still saw him as an actor who only starred in successful films such as Bram Stoker's Dracula. Even though it was a movie that was successful, Keanu Reeves was criticized for his acting in Bram Stoker's Dracula, and some people even considered him to be the weakest link. Known writer Josh Winning even reached the point of saying that Reeves' role made the film ruined. He called it the performance that had spoiled the film. The movie saw him trying out an English accent, which was also heavily criticized and considered to be one of the worst in the history of cinema. The criticisms for his role in the Shakespearean romantic comedy Much Ado About Nothing dated back to 1993. He was even nominated for the Worst Supporting Actor at the Golden Raspberry Awards. Following the trend of lackluster dramatic movies, it seemed that his career was on shaky ground. But a 180 degree turn was waiting when Speed was released. In 1993, the producers were looking for an actor to play the role of Officer Jack Traven, who was the main protagonist in the action thriller. They went against the pressure of big names like Tom Cruise and Tom Hanks and selected Keanu. To be faithful to the role, Keanu did not spare himself and shaved his head at the director's request and went through rigorous training to appear stronger. The first time he had to do such a dynamic role, Keanu was a bit nervous, but his enthusiasm and persistence prevailed. Speed won the hearts of the public, as it earned $350 million with just a $30 million budget 
and was awarded two Oscars. It was a great turning point in Keanu's acting career, and he finally got a chance to prove himself as an action star. Even after the massive success of Speed, Keanu Reeves turned down a $12 million offer to star at its sequel, Speed 2 Cruise Control. He wasn't disliking the movie or his co-stars, but he just didn't know if he should be in it or not. The decision was the reason that he was blacklisted by 20th Century Fox for 10 years. In Hollywood, sacrificing big bucks and the ire of producers could be a career-ending decision, but Keanu was not scared. Despite this rejection in Speed 2, it did not stop him from rising to global stardom. In such a way, the next production, The Matrix, would become the turning point for his life. The main character of this sci-fi dystopia, humans are all enslaved by intelligent machines, residing in a virtual reality. Keanu wasn't the first candidate for the role. He was followed by Will Smith and Nicolas Cage, who each had their own reasons for rejecting the job. Smith considered it too huge a task, while Cage didn't fancy the idea of filming in Australia for a long time. The Matrix had a strange route to its creation, with many big stars rejecting the role of Neo before it finally ended up in Keanu Reeves' hands. Fight Club was Brad Pitt's choice. Sandra Bullock couldn't imagine herself playing this role, and even Johnny Depp rejected the offer. Keanu, who was extremely happy to even be considered, worked hard and did everything he could to get the role, despite the fact that he was dealing with a serious injury. He trained five months in hardcore martial arts, and at the same time, he silently bore the pain of a herniated disc in his spine by wearing a neck brace to cover it from the production team. When The Matrix was screened, it was the first time that the audiences and the critics could witness the breathtaking visual effects, the thrilling action sequences, and the overall entertainment of the movie. The film broke box office records, earning more than $460 million against $63 million, which was its budget. It was Warner Brothers' top-grossing film of 1999, coming fourth after the highest-grossing film of the same year. Keanu was apparently paid $14 million for his part, and had an additional $49 million bonus after the movie's colossal success. The Matrix served as a stepping stone for Keanu Reeves to become a bona fide legend and also to reach a new level of popularity and recognition. The path of Keanu Reeves is not only about prosperity, but also about deep-seated tragedy. Along with the heights of Hollywood fame, he also lived through the dark times of heartaches and loss that only a few can imagine. At the age of a young boy, Keanu lost his father and then suffered the second blow a few months before Christmas of 1999 when his partner Jennifer Syme and he lost their baby boy. The loss of that love, combined with postnatal depression, made their relationship very difficult and eventually they broke up after a difficult period. Keanu's decision to keep his generosity out of the spotlight reveals a remarkable and selfless aspect of his character. Even in the face of an unimaginable loss, he remains committed to making a positive impact on the world, embodying resilience, compassion, and humility.